hey you all welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if it's your first time here i was away for a while but i'm back i'm better so today i want to talk about cohabitation before marriage yesterday i had this conversation on tiktok with a colleague a friend of mine uh, it was a two hours live session it was really very very informative we had different opinion when it comes to living with a man or a woman before marriage so i just thought to come here and share my opinion on cohabitation since it's still fresh in my mind and I actually do have a few things to, to point out, so keep watching. So, cohabitation before marriage, or cohabitation simply means living in with someone or sharing a space with someone. And in this case, we're talking about sharing that space with someone you're not married to that your partner, your boyfriend and or your girlfriend. So it's become a normal thing now in the society that a lot of people just live together without being officially married. And some people have the opinion that marriage is not everything. I mean, we could choose to be together, just have kids and, you know, do our thing. And I mean, marriage is so not it. Okay, why? Some people think that the right thing to do is to put the ring on that finger and make it official before you start living it together. Now, Miss Capella had a lot to talk about spiritually and morally and otherwise. And yes, I know even the Bible doesn't approve as a Christian that you should live in with a man or a woman before marriage because that's like plain fornication, steady fornication for the matter. Because you know, <laughs> but I mean, my opinion will be that if you are going to cohabit with, it, with a man or a woman, uh, you want to commit this sin. So if you, you, you just have to do it the right way then even though, even though there's no right way to commit sin you get me but what i'm trying to say is if you're going to cohabit with someone then make sure you guys are on the same level make sure you guys on, are on the same understanding level make sure that you're going into that space with them having the same end game plan okay if you know the intention is to get married then make it known that it's to get married do not string anybody along. If you know you just want to pull her into your space to have steady sex, steady free sex with her, then don't do it at all. That's just you being wicked. And if you know living together for a couple of months and you already understand, I cannot be with this person, then let them go. Because at the end of the day, you're also wasting their time and wasting the time of the right person who is out there waiting for them. And one disadvantage about cohabitation is you could actually be living with the wrong person and trying to force it to work while the right person is just out there waiting for you to leave that space a lot of women a lot of women when they choose to go live with a man they usually have that plan to get married to that man and most men just go into doing it because they want to be getting the milk as much as they want okay and the study shows that I don't know how right this is but about 70 percent of people who cohabit before marriage end up not getting married and about 50 percent of them who end up getting married end up getting divorced at maybe three or four years i don't know how right this is but i think i'm gonna actually say no to this study because i have actually seen red books have conversation with people who lived together for a long time before marriage and who are still together after marriage so when it comes to cohabiting i don't think living together is the issue i personally think the issue lies with the individuals living together now if a man is going to leave you he's going to leave you if a man is going to cheat on you he's going to cheat on you it doesn't matter how long you guys stay together you could live with a man for 10 years and if you're not the right person he's going to still not get married to you but he's going to be there because some men don't even know how to tell you please go i don't want you so as a lady you need to know your partner Living with someone for that long, I mean, even if it's for six months, I don't know how much people can pretend in a relationship, but the relationship where you're already living together, I, I want to believe that you have a better opportunity or advantage to know this person. But the issue with most of us ladies is, you see all of these red flags and all of these signs, but you still try to convince yourself that you want to be with this person when you're clearly seeing that this person doesn't even want to be with you. So cohabiting is not the issue. Cohabiting is the issue is with the individual you're choosing to live with. Now, if you're going to uh, cohabiting with someone and you guys don't share the same vision, the same dream, the same plan to make it something at the end, then 
you guys are just wasting each other's time i have seen influencers recently who choose to live with their partner because they are both content creators and they are both making money together so sometimes finance finance can be a reason why people choose to live together now that's intention that's a plan to live together to make money so at the end of the day even if marriage doesn't come they both have achieved what they decide to come together to achieve which is creating content getting popular you know get uh, securing the banks and all of that now if marriage Marriage is the end game then do not be shy male or female to let the other person know I'm here to get married to you or I want to get married to you or when are we getting married are you going to get married to me or not do not stay for donkey years and not know what this person's plan is and keep deceiving yourself that it's going to end up as marriage so even though the Bible condemns cohabiting and there are so many risks when it comes to living with a man especially as a woman because you could have unwanted pregnancies he could end up denying it he could end up telling you he's not ready and you get to raise your kid alone you could get into a fight and he could send you out of the house if he if he's actually the one who takes care of the entire bills and one mistake you get you ladies make also when you choose to live with a man is you get into a man's space and you don't want to bother about working because you feel he's taking care of you he has the bill he's working he's paying for everything Sorry, my phone was ringing he's paying for everything he's taking care of everything so you go into that space relax not wanting to do much now no man wants a liability i mean a man wants to build with his woman so if you choose to live in his space it's double bills for him so you could as well contribute to taking care of the house okay and most people will say if a man can have the milk he's not going to bother to pay for them for the full cow but that's for a bad man i believe that a man who actually wants to have a woman or wants to be with a woman doesn't matter if he's living with her if he, or even if he's getting the milk he's going to want to get the entire cow i mean getting sometimes getting the testing the milk makes you want to purchase the whole thing so i don't totally agree with that um saying that if, when a man is having the milk he's not going to get it. he's not going to want to get the entire cow if a man sees what he really wants trust me if a man sees what he really wants he's going to go for it and cohabiting or not cohabiting having sex with him or not having sex with him if he's not going to end up with you he's not going to end up with you so at the end of the day still everything still boils down to knowing your partner having the same intentions and having the same end end game plan to know where this living together is going to lead you to now what i'm going to say to conclude is before you go into living with your partner be sure that that's what you want to do don't let anybody force you to come live with them make up your mind decide to come live with them so that when there's any problem you can also be responsible for whatever happens okay if you're choosing to go live with a man then be sure that if there's an unwanted pregnancy if there's any financial issue if there's any problem at all you will also be ready to take responsibility for your actions so that you don't have to put the blame on the man when you got me pregnant or you did this or you did that you decided to come live with him you have every right to say no to the situation but you said yes to the situation so in conclusion morally religiously and otherwise it may be wrong to live with a man or to live with your partner but i still believe that testing the product before purchase is key and but not and but if you know that you're not sexually active with a partner and you're choosing to live together it's like just putting the temptation right in front of you so i advise you not to do that but if you're already sexually active and you want to give it a try because it could work out because when it comes to relationship actually there's no particular manual on how this will work i mean what works for mr a may not work for mr b so the fact that cohabiting didn't work for the first person doesn't mean it can't work for you so there's no harm in testing the water there's no harm in trying it out even though again morally spiritually it may be wrong but i mean sometimes it's better to get a taste of what the relationship will be like when you're living in closed space and you could do it for the max i'm going to advise you to cohabit with someone is two years say you're so damn in love with them two years that if the person is not focused on getting married the person is not talking about getting married to you the person has no plans of getting married to you then i think it's time to leave that space and leave that comfort zone and go out and check out who the right person for you is out there waiting for you so this is the end of the video for today i hope you found this very educative and
interesting now let me know your opinion on cohabitation before marriage because this is a big deal now this is a big deal now in the in the society we are in right now so i'd like to get your opinions in the comment section or you can check me out on my tiktok page and drop me some messages or some questions that i'll be willing to answer until next time if you're not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button right here subscribe hit on click on the notification bell to get notified when i upload my next video give the video a thumbs up and share to people who need to see this until next time stay loved stay beautiful and bye for now mm -hmm.